Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be comparing 4,500 watt all the way up to 7,000 watt inverter generators. I know some of you guys are looking to buy your inverter generators. You're looking for that 30 amp, you're looking for that 240 volt generator in a small compact size that you can just carry, throw in the back of the truck, or fit inside a compartment, RV compartment. And most of these are kind of dual purpose. You want something you can um, back up your home with and take on camping trips or you know just boondocking somewhere and you don't want to have to have someone to help you pick it up so I put this line up together starts at 4500 they are all dual fuel that's why I picked this there's one more I was gonna add to this but I haven't reviewed it yet so it will jump in the next video we have the Westinghouse 4500 you can see it right here dual fuel inverter generator pure sine wave they all pure sine wave inverter generator some of them have the 30 amp plug some of them have the twist lock and some have the 50 amp outlets you know so that's all what you guys are looking for so we'll start with the Westinghouse 4500 starting 3700 running all right you have the Duramax 4500 dual fuel 4500 starting 3600 running so it's 100 under the uh, Westinghouse. Then you come over here, the Champion, real quiet, really quiet inverter generator. 4,500 starting, 3,500 running. Then this is the one most of you are looking at. It's the Predator 5000. It says it right here, super quiet inverter generator with the 30 amp plug. Does not have the 50, it has the 30. And it's just 120 volt like the other ones. So you're gonna have all that power coming out on one leg. So the Predator has 5,000 starting, which is really high, but only 3,900 running. And it is dual fuel. And I know a lot of you asking me, can you run two ACs and kind of the household battery charging backup power, but it doesn't have 240 volts. And that's what most of you are, are kind of like, I wish it had 240 volts. Well, this one does not. But you have the Gen Max 6000, which is real close to this in size. If you guys can look at the size, they look almost the same size. So you have the Gen Max 6000, 6000 starting, 5,250 watts running on gas. I'm only giving you the gas, okay? And this one also has 240 volts, so that's the difference. You're gonna have split phase. So all that power is gonna come out on right here 120 240 that's the 140 240 30 amp plug next one up we have the AI power 7100 just like the Gen Max 240 volts so it's great for camping 50 amp RVs and home backup but the only thing about this one is it doesn't have the 50 amp plug it has 240 but it has the 4 pin twist lock I know they have the 7600, I don't have that one. Next, you have the Gen Max 7250. Next to the Predator, I'll put them next together. You can see they're the exact same size, almost the same weight, but this one has a little more power and it has 7,250 watts starting, 6,000 watt running. Right here. Okay, so you can see 6,000 watt running. 240 volts, compact, got wheels, handle, everything for a home backup or camper trailer, RV, 50 amp. And the best part is it's the only one that has that big 50 amp plug, so no adapters. I could have went a little further with this comparison, but I just wanted to show you guys what's out there, what's available for you, your choices. That's what this channel is about, is just showing you what's available. And we have some more coming out. Um, that's gonna be in this lineup too. That could have been in this lineup, but I haven't reviewed it and I didn't want to have it in here before I reviewed it. So let's go a little further down. Let's not stop at 4,500. Let's go to 4,000. Dual fuel. Show you guys what's available out there. All right, check this out. Another AI power, 4,001. 3,500 running, right there. That's another choice you have, 30 amp when 4000 they also have this in the 4500 
This one's 4,000 watts starting, 3,200 watt running. You have the Furman, 4,000. Okay, 4,000 watt starting, 3,200 running on gas. And over here, even more compact, the Gen Max, 3,500 dual fuel. All right, 3,500 starting, 3,200 running. You know, just a little less on the uh, starting, but I'll tell you what, this thing has full display, compact. Look at the size difference on these things. All right, so this one is the most compact dual fuel. Um, you can also, also get this in the 4,000. I don't have the 4,000 here right now. I do have another one that's a 4,000, but I could have had this in the 4,000. I'm actually waiting on that to be delivered right now. So you will see the review on that 4,000, I'll show you. There you have it. All right guys, so there you have it. 4,500 watt, all the way up to 7,200 watts. And if you guys are out there in the market trying to figure out which one to buy, there it is. All right, this is the lineup. Guys, let me know which one you want to see put up against each other. I know someone for a fact told me this, this against the 5,000. I'll tell you right now, I don't think it's a fair fight, but that's what you wanna see. You just wanna see the output. I do have the individual video of all these generators if you just wanna check it out. All right, just go down in the description, find that video and you can check it out. Each one of these have their own load test and review so if you want to check them out but i just want to put out a quick video so you guys can see them together and see what they look like size comparison just let me know if you want to see any of these together and i'll do the test but as for right now just thanks for watching guys and have a great day i'll see you in the next one bye